And guys, we are back for the final of the CSL Dota 2 Winter Open between Bendover and Elab. A rematch of our last tournament's finals, and I'm really excited for this. I don't know about you. Yeah, yeah. I am too, and um, let's get the show on the road here. Bendover versus Elab, another one. And another one. Jaro's farm is alarmingly low. I'm not sure how much damage they can do here, though. Yeah, Lycan takes almost no damage there, and they could both die for this. Oh my god. They still could get something here. I'm out of going in. Oh, oh my god. This could be huge. G no, GH. GH comes back in, and that's huge. G I love GH is doing a huge turnaround right here. I don't think they can kill him. Hamada's, Hamada's trying his best, but I don't think he can do this. Didn't I say that yesterday? <laughs> Didn't I say so Kekizor sees everything that's happening right now. And there comes the meteor, oh, and there's the chrono. chrono. Oh, it's huge. Is Where's Gyrocopter? GH is still there. He's getting scanning. That's what I'm talking about. That gyro. Oh. The gyro is so far. I mean, gyro, gyro comes oh, in with a save here. But is it enough? Oh. Cancelled uh, clarity. Uh, it's too late. It's too far back. Uh, I mean, look at that skill. Look at that skill. And they take her out, but... Oh! Did he miss the stun? No, he, uh, he put the stun on Ara instead. That, was that a misclick? That was a huge misplay. For Kekizor. JH could be in trouble here again. And oh, There's the debut of the egg, and it's doing a lot of damage, but she just manages to get out of the range. Death Prophet's movement speed is just too much, and she's going to regen now because of the LT exorcism. She's going to get away right now. Spectre is going back to base because he has a haunt, I believe, that he could use. Uh, yep. And he does use the haunt. He needed the mana. He should get this kill on Death Prophet. And Stop it will be a huge that. one. And he does get the kill. And Morphling's here now. Morphling could be in trouble. Morphling is stunned. They're getting stun locked by I Love GH, but they're not doing enough damage. Morphling's trying to take them on by himself. Rajix could go down here too. That's four heroes for none. Oh, and Rajix just manages to get out. That's still a huge loss for Elab at this point. And Rajix <laughs> gets blown up by Kekizor. Yeah, that was, that was a drive Except that they just win a team fight that dominantly. He almost made it out too. I don't know, has backup though. Hamada comes in. And there could be a death ward here. And there is a death ward here. And the roar comes in to stop it. But the egg, the egg, the egg's doing so much damage. GH is gonna go down. Oh, and, and he blows up. That's four for one. They see the nature's profit mid, and I think the second they see the Vengeful, they might be very aggressive here until they see FTP. They're going in on Famous Ara, and they're going to take him out here. But KK Zor lands the stun, and Witch Doctor's Death Ward is going to do a lot of damage here. Phoenix coming in. He doesn't want to use his egg yet. They're, they almost took out the Morphling. And Phoenix looks to be going down here. He doesn't even use his egg. That's a lost team fight. That's a big loss for watching the high ground. So they might want to make a move here. And Earth Spirit does go in and he's kind of out of position. He didn't even he didn't even do rolling boulder on a remnant and he could be dead here. That Prophet uses her, her exorcism. They could disengage here. And the egg is on the high ground and they're taking so much damage. They have to retreat. Magnetize has already been propped. GH looks to be going down here. Her soul siphon is keeping her alive just barely. They're all so slightly alive. And it's slightly is more than enough. I mean, four heroes with a sliver of help. Took four dead heroes from Mendover, and that was a huge turnaround by Elab. So they're doing a wraparound. They're going, they're diving on Spectre. Past the tier twos. The tier two is still up. Meteor Bob could be dead here. But Sherb is being blown up by Lina. KK Zor takes him out. Rajik, Rajik coming and doing a lot of damage with the exorcism. They, they just can't, they can't mount up to this, but Haunt comes in, Spectre buyback. 
It's only him and Nature's Prophet right now. This is a mistake by Spectre, but Spectre's doing so much dispersion damage. He's still going in, he's still trying. The Magnetize doing a lot of damage back. The Strength Morse is enough for Rajix to push Meteor Bob back. Meteor Bob has forced a retreat, and Famous Ara could be going for a kill here. I mean, he TP's top, but he just misses Venge, and Venge goes for the kill. Really nice turnaround by Min. Yeah, this could be a huge fight right now. I mean, bend over, lose this, and that's Rax, maybe even two. And look at that tower melt away. They need to do something here. They can't just watch this happen. The swap comes in, and KZ is in trouble. The roar comes in, KZ gets blown up. Does he have buyback? The death ward is off. Death ward doing so much damage, and the buyback is done. No egg comes in. The death ward kills Rajix. Sherbs is trapped in there, and Sherbs is in trouble. I think they're all afraid of Rajix a little bit. Sherbs gets blown up, and Rajix is there alone. Death Prophet comes in with her exorcism and her soul siphon. Meteor Bob backs up with the gem. I think Bendover will be slightly content with this. They almost get another kill. They defended they defended their tower. And they might even get more here. And Rajix at the high ground just watches his teammate melt and he's just trying to get out of there right now. There's no way to stop that though. Um, pivoted by Elav here. And a haunt coming in from Spectre. And they're going in and they get a kill already. And Beastmaster's Roar is no longer in the fight. The Exorcist, uh, there's a swap. And it's on al, al But it looks like Vengeful's going down. And so is Death Prophet. Death Prophet's almost dead here. She uses the cheese. And that's going to make a huge difference. The Magnetize is also doing so much damage. Kiki's Roar is fixed on taking out Death Prophet. But all this time, Morphling. Morphling's getting the Megas. And Death Prophet just won't die. She just won't die. She's going down. And she goes down now to Spectre. I mean... They, they sacrificed all that for Rax, which I'm not sure was worth it at this point, but they had to do something. They're all gonna go for the GG mid push. When Rajix comes in here, I don't think he's afraid. He's just fighting Meteor Bob. He can get out of here whenever he wants. And he's gonna go for a kill on Ara. -A, and down goes the Aegis. They have to disengage here. I'm not sure what Meteor Bob is doing. And it barely misses a stun. Meteor Bob could be dead here. Does he have buyback? Phoenix comes in, doesn't use the egg. He has to save the egg for high ground. Meteor Bob does go down. Phoenix could go down to Pandan this guy barely makes it out. KK0 goes down to GH. The Death Ward's doing so much damage with the egg. I love GH is also gonna go down. He barely makes it out of there. Ooh. And he's still there. He goes down. The roar comes in on Meteor Bob. They're doing it defensively at this point. Radix seems to be going down here and a huge kill by Phoenix and KK Zor. Hamada's also there. Death Ward again does so much damage. Mint could be dead here, and Mint is dead. Famous Ara could be being told to go around, and I don't think Bendover can stop this in time. Yeah, they're gonna take out this Rax. <laughs> it's Rad Dodo. It is it, unless they lose, have to take tremendous losses at this point. And the Death Ward comes in, and it's doing so much damage on Sherbs. GH is gonna go down too. I love GH is almost dead. Rajix comes in. I love GH does fall. He barely lives, but Rajix, Rajix just doesn't die. Rajix is about to fall. Mint could go down too. Okay, the GG push is still possible. We have five heroes up for Bendover. And here comes the fight. And Rajix gets blown up from the beginning of the fight. GH could go down here too. This is a huge moment. GH is still standing up. Her spirit siphon is keeping her up. Ara, Ara's tanking most of the damage. Sherbs uses it. The Death Ward comes in. Death Ward's doing so much damage. It's gonna take out one. It's gonna take out two. Death Prophet's down two. They could go for the base race. They need someone to tank, tank what's going on in their base. And this could be a miraculous turnaround. What is going on, Vega? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> Mint, Mint could be going down here too. They're going for it. Bendover are not ready to accept defeat yet. KK Zor, who's been heroic so far. The Magnetize could take him down, but Spectre's doing so much damage to the Ancient. This could be game over. Oh my god, the Glyph. The Glyph keeps it alive for just a bit. KK Zor delaying. Delaying his death as long as possible. I don't think... Oh, and KK Zor almost blows up someone. And Bendover take the game. My god. Who is the real comeback king here, Ahmed? I don't want you to explain what just happened right there. I don't know what the hell just happened. <laughs> 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 Ten minutes <laughs> breaks, please. <laughs>
Alright, so. What a game, guys. So one game for each team here in the best of three between Bendover and Elab. That bounty didn't pick in. I mean, they were, what were they thinking going for? Very, very, very greedy with their picks. Yeah, it was very greedy, yeah, definitely. Pick. They, oh, they're gonna like turn around and fight this, and Radzis could go down again. Oh god. Go oh, god. Wraith King gets him. Yeah. This is a disaster. I love GH might get a kill here. Scratch that. Does get a kill. And Panda and Skaz could be in trouble too. But I mean Wraith King is still in the vicinity and he's still... Sherb is going to go down here. Wraith King goes back to base. So if they just accept, they'll take um, a 2 for 3 at this point. I mean, not the best for Bandover, but not the worst either. Meteor Bob taking significant amount of damage. He does have the reincarnation, of course. And they bring back Death Prophet again, and she's going down for free. Oh my god. It's, it's, it's too late. It's too late. The Omni between five heroes hoping for some lucky bounces. That's possible misplay by Ara, but they're trying to take out Panda in the skies. Meteor Bob almost wants to die at this point. And his reincarnation is going to save some of his teammates from further damage. They can get out of there. They'll take that any day. GH could go down too. Meteor Bob has a blade mail to pop. He, and he does pop it. They back up. Invoker could be in trouble here. There's the ice, ice wall. And he needs a ghost walk. He doesn't have Invoke up. And he's going down too. That's pretty good. Um, for, And they are coming for this. Naga's Illusion blocking them. They're making a move on GH. And GH is in trouble here. The mech saves her. But the blade... And the Death Ward takes him out. The Death Ward is doing so much damage here. It's taking out GH too. Oh, and the disruption misses. But they're still in such deep trouble here, Elab. Oh, what a crit. I love GH has to get out of there. They might get another kill here with the Jug. And the Jug goes for the Omni on KK Zor and kills him. No glimpse yet on the Jug, and the Jug dodges it, dodges the stun. Really well played by Rajik so far. He's still making it out of there. And he blinks left for the... Okay, and they're pulling Rajik's back, and they look like they're going to get him here. I mean, he did his best. He did everything he could to get out of that situation, but he still goes down. It's so annoying. Uh-oh, to have a... And Naga comes in, and Panda in disguise could be dying again here. The Death Ward is countered by the Naga Song. But, but Jug does go down. I don't know if this is a fight they want to take. They seem to be content with pushing forward. Meteor Bob is wandering around. Trying to juke and jive, but he's going to go down. He does have a bed now. He does use it, and Death Prophet almost kills herself. She uses um, the cheese. Is there going to be a blink in time to a stun? I don't think so. Oh, and Disruptor catches him almost. The counter nation could be could be huge here. And there comes the Omni Slash. That's a lot of damage being spread out between them. And they're all pretty low here. The reincarnation goes off, but the Death Ward! The Death Ward is cancelled. Hamada is dead. And this is a huge win for Elab. Invoker goes down too. That's a four. Four one. They have regen, so his health is, does, is getting pretty low. I mean all of their health are, are getting pretty low here. Sherb's taking a lot of damage, but. So no avail and GH going in on this. He doesn't want to run here. He gets hexed straight up. And Bane taking out Panda's guys. But Hamada's death ward. It always comes to the rescue. GH taking so much damage. Rajik's about to fall here. Rajix and GH going down. I love GH. Should be dead here. So tanky there, but the Sunstrike should take him out. And Rajik is standing outside the base. They defend that. But the Naga's pushing another lane. Naga creeps with the Naga illusion. Right GH is gonna fall. GH, GH does fall. fall. Naga's fallen. GH, I love GH, <laughs> I love GH trying to get out of there. Blocked by the Sprout, making the doing the only thing he can do right now. He's trying to push with KK Zor, but they look like it looks like Meteor Bob could go down here, and KK Zor could go down too, and this could be the end of the game. GG, well played, and congratulations to our champions, Elab, the kings of the push strat. And thank you so much to both these teams for making this such a memorable final. Congratulations to uh, all our top four, including Team Millennium in third place and 
Bomb Squad in fourth place. You've made this an enjoyable turn to watch. Thank you for everyone for participating, and we will be back shortly for the closer.